We have come through the consecration. Today is a day of rejoicing. I just wonder, does anybody have a testimony that they would like to share right now? Oh, God. And, 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 and tell of the goodness of the Lord. Come on. The first one. Come on.
that broke her heart. Her mom was her everything. Everybody call her Mama Lane now. She acts like her, she looks like her, she prays like her, she sings like her, she sews like her, she cooks like her, she does everything like her mom. So all the boys and all the girls in that family call her Mama Lane. She's kind of the buck between the two. Many of them have an issue or whatever, with, even with each other. First person they call her Mama Lane. Well, what does Mama Lane think about? So I'm just grateful that God has healed her heart two ways. Heart attack and a broken heart. So I'm grateful to the Lord. Now, to make another long story short, you see I'm wearing sunglasses. I can't see folk in the daylight. These bright lights kill my eyes. There was a close and swell. But I really didn't understand how bad my eye was until I actually went to the doctor. I just thought it was, again, an injury, an old injury. It'll heal sooner or later. But I have a tear in my retina that I didn't know about. So any bright light closes my eyes and makes it run really bad. So y'all pray for me because I'm still believing that God is a healer. I'm scheduled for a surgery on uh, February the 17th. I'm praying for on February the 16th. I pray God's healing and guys the, the, the surgeon's hand. I'm having a cornea transplant. And uh, not only a cornea transplant, but since they have me sedated, they're going to go ahead and take some cataracts that I have in my eyes too. So uh, I'm not trying to be cool. I'm just trying to see something. So God bless you. You today. I thank you for my life. So many people have passed away that I know, but I thank God I'm still here. If you're still here, you all got to pray. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter. If you depend and lean on Jesus, let me tell you, he'll bring you through it. I want to thank God for this fast. He has given me strength. He has given me hope. You know, working on my mind. Like, you get old. <laughs> but you know what? I don't care. I'm getting old in Jesus. I'm getting better with Jesus. That's what I need to think about. That's what he put on my mind. You still here. You still here. Be thankful that you're still here. I thank God for my life. I thank God for my family. I thank God for my church family. I love each and every one of you. I love each and every you. I want to thank God for my pastor, my brother, my friend. I want to thank God for him. I want to thank God because he leads by God. He's led by God. I thank God for that. Hallelujah. I just want to thank him. 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 Y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know.
I preached for several weeks about the power of God's grace. You did nothing to deserve it, so you can't do nothing to lose it. I'm going to say that one more time, because you keep thinking that you can make yourself good enough for deserve God's grace, but the devil is a liar, because if he were to regard iniquity, the Bible says nobody would be able to stay so he has to overlook all that. He has to overlook our weaknesses. He has to overlook it here because you'll never be perfect. I don't care how, oh God, because you're looking at the me you see and think you can perfect that. And as long as everybody sees the me that you see, that you're going to be all right. But I got news for you. You can be ever so perfect and the me that you see and stand down on the inside. You still don't feel comfortable you don't feel comfortable with yourself. You feel like you're less than. You feel like you can't make it. But I stop by to tell you that God said, let his grace be sufficient. Oh God, let his grace be sufficient. Meaning that even though I'm walking and I'm trying to walk straight, even if I get a little crooked, understand that the grace of God, the blood of Jesus, has for every mistake that I make, for every time I fail, the blood of Jesus has already accounted for the mistakes that I make. And me trying to be perfect does not impress God. <laughs> oh, God. Let me get these words out so we can go home. We can. Remember God's grace is extended out of his love. We can through deductive reasoning. All you got to do is just have some deductive reasoning. Because most of us know that if we really reason that the, the reason that I'm here is not really because of me. Because I did enough things to be dead. I, I did enough things to not be here. You, oh God, you heard Sister Ruthie. You heard her. She said she, she did enough things that, that even though he stashed her hair, he didn't take her roots. And the roots began to grow for us. Oh God. We can through deductive reasoning see that I did nothing to deserve his grace. And he's not taking it back because I'm growing. He's not going to take it back because I'm growing. Just say it with me. He's not taking it back. Because I need his grace to grow. I need his grace to buffet me. I need his grace to surround me. So that when I don't meet up to my mark, oh God, I can still have the grace of God. I still got the grace of God. Oh my, 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 my. Be careful. I'm just, just going to tell you, be careful not to make a permanent decision over a temporary condition. Uh, don't make a permanent, and I'm telling this in the words of the Lord, uh, do not make uh, a permanent decision uh, over a temporary condition. This year, I know we do it all the time, uh, but this year, God said, don't make, don't make a permanent decision over a temporary condition. Uh, matter of fact, share that with your neighbor real quickly. S say, do not make a permanent decision over a temporary condition. In other words, don't make a conclusion uh, or something. Oh, God, uh, that's temporary. Uh, where I'm at right now is just temporary. Uh, where I'm at in my mind is just temporary. Uh, how I feel in my body is just because if I just go on uh, and praise God, uh, and this is where he told me to tell you today, uh, rejoice in the Lord, uh, always, uh, and again I say rejoice, uh, why am I rejoicing, uh, because I know this temporary situation uh, is not going to define uh, what I get through at the end, uh, I'm sorry to tell the devil, uh, you me no more. Huh? You can't block me no more. Huh? Because this decision uh, that I'm making today uh, is to rejoice uh, in the Lord. Uh, even though I don't have what I want. Uh, even though I'm not what I want to be. Uh, even though I fasted and consecrated uh, for a whole month. Uh, I'm still not where I want to be. Uh, but I praise God today uh, because it could have been different. Uh, it could have been different. Uh, it could have been different. Right now, but thanks be to God, thanks be to God, I rejoice.
you just look back over your life, if you look back over the week, if you look back over the days, you'll see how good God has been and you can rejoice. Everybody in the house. Everybody in the house. Everybody in the house. Everybody in the house. But everybody in the house owes God a praise. Those that testified still owe him a praise. Those that didn't testify still owe him a praise. The ushers owe him a praise. The musicians owe him a praise. The sound engineer owes him a praise. The camera people owe him a praise. Everybody in the house, if you're breathing right now, I just wonder, do I have a witness? Shut up. 